Welcome to the Own Your Own Shit Show, where we talk about how your mind and body affect your whole health. I'm Lisa. And I'm Andrea. And you know the drill if you watched this yeah. before, or if you've never watched and this is your first time, welcome. welcome. Absolutely. And if you want to know about us crazy ladies, check out our links mm. below. So, this week... We're talking about winter yeah. weather. Yeah. And we wanted to know, do you like do winter? winter? Yeah. Yay or nay? Yeah. Do you live in Canada? Are you in denial that winter comes every year like I used to be? <laughs> yeah. So brutal. Like, no, it's not going to happen this year. You ran around with probably running shoes on all winter. Probably. <laughs> Actually, to tell you the truth, when we used to go to the bars when we when I was in yep. university, I would still wear sandals because I really liked how they like accentuated my leg and whatever. And I was like, Ah, my toes are frozen, but I still continue to wear them. But I look good. I it was exactly <laughs> it. And no, no coat to the bar. Like, well, yeah, I, I used to do that too. Yeah, you'd you shove know. everything in pockets because yeah. I don't wear a coat. I know. We so when you, so when you go to the bar, I know. I, know. I see those kids now. If you're downtown later, and you see all the little girls running along with their next to nothings on, and I it's know. cold, and you're like, no, no, that's not. I'm no. not interested. Exactly. But do you like winter? Do you not like winter? Do you super hate it or do you super love it? You know, either way, we're going to discuss in this week's video, we're going to talk about sometimes maybe why you hate winter. Mm -hmm. What could be going on? Maybe you just hate the cold. Maybe you can't handle the cold properly because you have some health issues going on and stuff. So we're going to talk about that today. So stick around. Yeah. Hey, just a quick heads up. Content here may not appeal to everyone. Uh, one thing that really I, I did notice every time that I have anxiety, um, my circulation is really bad. Hmm. And it's it's almost like the energy goes to my head and I can't stop thinking and the thoughts and all this. Yep. That my hands are freezing, which is interesting because when I'm in my flow doing my massage, my hands are so hot. Like mm. almost to the point of people, wow, well, people have commented on it. Mm. It's, it's pretty wild. So when I'm in my flow, I'm good, but when I'm stressed, I'm freezing. Mm. So. Well, this is pulling the energy away from yeah. the periphery, right? Yeah, to, yeah, the central nervous system is using up all the energy, yeah. right? Because you get your brain going too much. Interesting. Yeah, and yeah, anxiousness. Mm. Uh, for sure, because it's a whole fight or flight, right? Yeah. So, they keep the internals warm mm -hmm. and run away. Yeah. 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 So do you find, do you struggle with staying warm? Uh, I do when my perspective is, I'm so cold right now. <laughs> so part of it is me mentality. So yeah. honestly, if you if you hate winter mm -hmm. and you hate the cold, yeah. then going out in the cold makes it even worse. That's right. right. It's funny, actually, last night I was sitting on the couch and it's been cold the last couple days, yeah. right? And I have to go out and do barn chores at like 10 o'clock at night. Right, oh, so I'm all snuggly on my new couch last night watching TV. I'm like, I'm gonna go do bar chores. Oh, it's cold. No. It's gonna be cold. And my and I have leggings on and a and a sweater and I have like heavy coats and stuff. And my husband goes, "We need to get you some coveralls. Put on <laughs> some coveralls." I go, "I'm not putting coveralls to walk out to the barn." Goes, but you'll be warm. And I'm like, "Sure." I'll just dash out, do my thing, and dash back. He said. I said, or I have, I could put something on, but I have a big long coat that I wear to the barn, uh, kind of hat and mitts and stuff. Yeah. But it's true, like you know. So that whole thought, of like, oh, I don't want to go out and it's gonna be cold. Yeah. Be cold. But if you bundle up, yeah, then I'm okay. Fine. Yeah, exactly. Right. And just realizing too. So when we were traveling in Scotland, it was so cold, and we did a lot of wild and crazy things. Like just I saw your pictures. Like, yeah, oh, lots of fun. It was so fun. Yeah. But it made me more resilient because mm. doing all the camping and things that we did in the really cold weather, I couldn't warm up with a hot shower because mm. there were no showers. So it made me realize, okay, if I just go out and, you know, say do barn chores or, or go for a hike or whatever it is, I can come home and have a shower and it'll be very easy for me to warm up. Mm -hmm. So it makes us more resilient doing things like yeah, that. Yeah, you kind of acclimatize, mm. right? Like at first when you first get out there and you're all bundled up, but you still, the cold still hits you. Yeah. But then as you get out and you get moving and you're in, a, in it and you adjust, it's funny because I was thinking of that last night. Here I am coming out all bundled up to the barn, you know, because I'm coming from a warm house out to the cold barn. Yet I have animals that live in the barn and they adjust, they grow That's hair, true. they kind of are used to it. They don't 
know any different. No. So it's the fact that we can think about it yeah. that gets in the way. Yeah. To a large degree. And that we have an ability to go from discomfort to comfort and we have the choice to stay in comfort. That's if right. We want. Yeah. Whoa. So that's a big part of it. It can be just what you're thinking. If you're yeah. just like, I just hate the snow and I hate shoveling and I hate snow. Then of course you're going to hate winter. Yeah. So maybe in that case, maybe try to find something that's good about winter. Mm -hmm. You know, changing your perspective. Because if you live here, I'm sorry, you're going to have to deal with the cold. You have to. <laughs> like, it's the reality. Exactly. Or you can move. Move to Florida. Yeah. So if you can't move and you are here, mm -hmm. find something to be happy about. Yeah. Find some way to enjoy. Even, I will admit that I actually like when we have snow because it makes it prettier. Right. And weirdly, the snow insulates the ground and it feels warmer when there's Ooh. snow cool. than when there's not. Think about it. Next time you go out, if it's windy and cold and raw and there's no snow, it's like hard packed dirt ground, mm. it feels colder than when there's snow insulating everything. Hmm. It's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. So if you're poo-pooing the snow, stop. Because the snow makes yeah. it pretty and it actually insulates yeah. it and makes it feel warmer. That's it. Yeah. Now having mm. said that, there are some health issues that can trigger people to just not be able to get warm, like mm. thyroid. Yeah. Right? As you say, stress is a big one because it pulls your energy in. But if you have thyroid deficiencies, then you're cold all the time. Yeah, for sure. Right? So, hmm. if you find you're cold, maybe you've had your thyroid tested and you're on stuff. And, you know, maybe that's part of it. Maybe it is that you're just, you know, uh, have some thyroid issues. And if the medication is working, great. But you also have to understand is that when you get put on a thyroid medication, that that actually stops your thyroid altogether from working because now the medication mm. takes over for it. And you'll just now need to be on that medication forever. But if you're kind of borderline and you've maybe just started or you haven't started, but you think that, okay, yeah, I'm really have, struggling with, I think, low energy, losing hair, like the, all the things that go with poor thyroid function, mm -hmm. which is pretty common, then maybe start looking at trying to heal and repair it. Yeah, for sure. First, which number one is always avoid all the goiterous foods. So all the things mm. that stress out the thyroid. So A, carbs. Which again, most people eat a ton of processed carbs, it stresses out the thyroid. Because to the thyroid, carbs are like a hit, right? So that's why you crave, because the thyroid goes, yes, and then no. And then, so I need more, yes, and then no. And it wears it out, right? So yeah, maybe cleaning up your carb load. Uh, like bad carbs. Uh, vegetables are a carb, they're a good carb. But I mean like over-processed yeah, stuff. Breads and starches and things like that, that are really hard and heavy. Um, and then, like I said, all the goiter's foods, like, you know, cabbage and broccoli and kale and soy, and those are all really hard on the thyroid. Mm -hmm. um, and I just was looking up things because we were going to do the show today, and I, I did not know that actually, and this, because this is a huge thing, a lot of people use maca yeah. for energy, especially women, because yeah. hormonal, well, funny enough, maca is actually hard on the thyroid. Mm -hmm. It actually depletes the thyroid. I did not know that. So maybe if you're yeah. taking maca, thinking, oh, it's going to make me feel better. and Because what was weird is my girlfriend years ago was all about maca. And she was like, oh, I just feel so much better when I'm on it. Well, I mean, different body types, different yeah. issues, different whatever. And every time, because she kept trying to get me to take it. And mm. every time I take it for about two or three days or whatever, and then I just feel worse. Wow. And I'd stop, and then I'd stop it. I'm like, ah. I, I do, and she'd be like, oh, don't you just love it? And I'm like, no. <laughs> Yeah, everybody's different. Everybody's body is different. So you really have to learn to listen to your body. You know, so if it, if you hate winter just because you hate winter. Because <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe ha embrace it. Yeah. Right? Change your perspective. Yeah. Try and find something, even if it's a sport or a walk outside or. Exactly. Get some know. snowshoes. I don't yeah, know. Get a fun, fun hat. Yeah, that's know. cute. Yeah, make sure you have the gear. Yeah, like, yeah, dress warm for it. stuff. Exactly. Yeah, go don't go out with your pretty sandals. Because you want to look. Who pretty. did that? <laughs> <laughs> that's fun. Uh, uh, yeah. Or if if it really is a thyroid issue, then maybe look at you know supporting and rebuilding your thyroid. Uh, there are also certain nutrients that it really needs, like iodine. Mm -hmm. You know, so kelp 
Even though Kel- yeah. I don't know, I, I have trouble doing the whole kelp thing because it's a pretty I strong so taste. So salty too. Yeah, exactly. Mm. But getting iodine into your system, interesting mm. test. So sometimes I've done this with clients. You know, they've gone to their doctor and they've tested them and they're like, yeah, your thyroid's okay. But they are really struggling, right? One thing you can do, because you can get this anywhere, is go to a drugstore and get real iodine, right? Oh. They used to use iodine to disinfect oh, in the yeah, old yeah, days. Yeah. You can stuff. still, yeah, you can still yeah. buy real iodine. I have a container because I use it on the horse for cuts and things because it's a quick way to mm-hmm. kind of seal it and keep it from getting infected. Yep. You can buy iodine in containers. So I buy it, and then what I do is open the lid, and then I put a dot, like I take the top, and I go like this on my wrist, and then I get like this dot of brown from the iodine on my wrist. Watch and see how long it takes to absorb. Oh. We'll tell you how bad your thyroid is and how bad you need iodine. Oh, like so, if it absorbs quickly. Yeah, yeah. So if it absorbs super quickly, it's your body going, yeah, yes. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But if it sits there for a couple of days, you might be okay. You might just hate winter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> there might be other reasons for you feeling cold all the time, like maybe you're stressed yeah. all the time. Right? Anyway, good tip. Yeah. So iodine is a big one for the thyroid. It really, really needs iodine. And not the bad, crappy salt. Yeah, yeah. table salt. Don't do that. No. Do good, clean iodine. There's lots of food sources yeah. with good iodine if you don't want to do kelp. Yeah. Um, selenium is important for thyroid. Mm-hmm. Vitamin D is important for your thyroid. Uh, L-tyrosine is an amino acid, and it's a precursor to building thyroxine in your system, so you mm-hmm. need it. Um, good to know. Yeah, so getting getting the right nutrients in your body. So again, looking at your digestive system, it's not absorbing nutrients in the right way. That's your small intestine. That's digestive. That's you know prebiotics. There's so many layers. I do have a hormone balancing kit. You can check out the link below uh, if you need more. If you really do want more support, then absolutely check that out. Yeah. And if you have questions about even just those supplements, like reach out to us. Mm-hmm. I know it can be a bit confusing starting things like that. Absolutely it is, for sure. Yeah. I mean, yes, you can Google anything nowadays, but yeah. is it really the right information? I know. And is it right for you? Yeah. It's kind of why we're here. We're trying to do these shows exactly. so that you get to know us, that we kind of do know our stuff. Mm-hmm. We've been doing it for a while. Um, and, and we, we want do. you to know your stuff. Yeah. So, like, owning your own shit. Yeah. <laughs> but we're here to help you yeah. own your own shit. Get started. Yeah, yeah, it is. Exactly. So, you know, this week, let us know. Do you like winter? Don't you like winter? If you do, why do you like winter? If you don't, why don't you not like winter? Is it a health issue? Or is it just, meh, it's just cold. I hate the cold. Which, on some days, I agree with you. Yep. You know, you look out and it's cold like it was the other day. No snow on the ground. and Yeah. Yeah, Raw. I'm kind of with you on those days. Stay inside. Yeah. But, yeah, share with us what you think. Yeah, let us know. And subscribe. Hit the little bell so you get all the notifications. We put out a video every Thursday. So mm-hmm. you can get it first before all your friends. Mm-hmm. And just remember that the only thing you have control over in life is yourself. Exactly. So for the rest of this week, remember, be authentic, be empowered, and own it completely. Bye. Don't forget to connect with us on your favorite social media sites so you can share your whole healthcare woes, wins, and other shit you'd like to discuss with us.